Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's session is like uh, how to create a dynamic blog visibility, visibilities in a AutoCAD. So these are the uh, like uh, blocks for the lights, okay, different types of blocks. So these blocks so we need to create like uh, in a in a one block, okay. So uh, almost this one is around seven blocks, okay. So how it's uh, work, I will show you. Just create a type of block, okay. Then uh, we can just give a lighting all okay just type like that okay just give a um, name like that the blocks okay just click ok then go to continue sorry i will I'll just uh, need to do one thing just uh, just select this one okay and uh, i will just type that to uh, all blocks what i am created it was not created so just i'm typing all 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 lights okay sorry all lights all lights then click ok then so it's asking for selecting a block okay so no need to select that one so just continue that one so it's opening through the um, uh, block editor so then what we need to do we need to set some visibilities okay so how it's work i will show you so i'm just closing this property so this is our block uh, palettes okay so just uh, do one thing just stretch it up to like this so some visibilities are not high hidden over here so we need to set that one so what we'll do we just go to insert up and insert then you can uh, you need to uh, check whether the blocks are created over here so some blocks are uh, we already created so from uh, light one light two light three light four light five and this one okay so what we can do just first we need to select light one okay so go there and just select light one and just to put a zero comma zero so it will it will come over here so this is the first light okay so we need to set some visibilities over here so pick the visibilities from this uh, parameter so just select that one and put somewhere over here so the visibilities are fixed over here the next step is like uh, we need to go to block editor and we need to set the visibilities okay so for that we need just you know, we need to go to the visibility state then uh, rename this one so just type like a uh, light one okay just type it uh, light one before that you need to do one thing just you need to export these things because we don't want to disturb our previous blocks so just type that one just go here and rename this one just type a light l i g h t light l1 okay so like that we are given and another one we need to create another layer another one thing okay the magic is happening from here okay so just we will uh, type like a uh, light type like like uh, i'm simply placing l2 okay you can give your whatever you need so just to put this one hide existing elements from the new state okay just click that one click okay then click okay so that will be disappear from here okay the next one just go to insert so then just uh, select from our light two. okay so just a zero comma zero enter so we will see how it's work see this one is the light two. so next next we need to go here and next next we need to set a next visibility so next visibility is l3 so just type l3 and other element will be hide okay just click okay just click okay and we'll go here insert up go here and next slide we can place it and like zero comma zero and go to this block editor set visibility for next one sorry new one l4 okay just click okay then click okay so that will go up from here i will show you the magic okay then uh, the next one is l5 so that one you can place zero comma zero and just go to block editor just a new stat new state will just give a l5 okay so uh, click ok so don't forget to explore that one i'm just uh, i will i'll show you that one okay then the next one is uh, l6 and 0 comma 0 enter then just explore this one and uh, we'll go to editor and just we'll set a visibility um, this one is like a new l6 okay like that okay just click okay 
so once you done that one just close it this one save this one and it was not showing here but we need, this is our 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 own block okay so go to insert tab and just uh, go to insert so you will be get like uh, all lights from here so it will it will come up over here all lights you need to find where you see all lights are here so just click that one select put it here so see you can you can see whatever we place it you can see get it from here l4 l5 what are the one we created we just uh, get it from here so easily you can place all the things from here okay so jill uh, will go there okay just edit this one all lights and uh, this one is l1 and we'll select l6 l6 is not placed that was it, it, that is why it was not coming so we'll go there and just select the l6 light from here l6 and we'll just uh, 0 comma 0 place it okay so this one l l6 and block editor and another one we can create it new l7 okay click uh, okay okay then that will go and you just go to insert and just uh, place l7 0 comma 0 okay place it that one and just a visibility uh, we can say this visibility is new new one l l7 already create uh, l7 already created okay just select, select that one close this one save changes so once you click that one so all the light will be coming over here for l7 for example l7 l6 okay l5 and l4 l3 l2 and l1 so like that we can simply uh, uh, set the visibility so for 100 more blocks you can place it in a one shot okay so like that we can select the visibility settings and no need to copy paste every time the block so easily you can um, easily you can create uh, the visibilities so then in a one block you can control you can get it all the uh, all the blocks easily so if you need place one light over here okay for example lights over one these lights you need okay so easily you can go to here and type l1 so it will come okay for example this is l2 so you need l2 okay in in same block you just go to like this okay so go here and just select this one and go to l3 so like that you can get it all the things so if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet and please join me if you have uh, if you got some ideas about the autocad and rivets if you need any if you have any doubts you just contact me i can i can teach you about that things thanks for watching thank you